Hello and welcome back to Antiques Trade Secrets. Uh, this week a fun video on funky uh, items that might sell well for interior design as statement pieces for people to buy for their homes. So rather than perhaps classic antiques, relatively uh, contemporary or more vintage items that are fun, don't break the bank, and you can sell on and I sell uh, particularly through the antique centre that we rent space in. Um, you know, they wouldn't necessarily sell so well on eBay because of the weight, uh, and they're just fun impulse purchases that, uh, you know, turn over and are fun to pick up. So if we look at what we've got on the table today, uh, we started with, uh, as you can see, this mask here. Um, we've bought and sold a number of, of masks over recent years. I tend to look for quality these days, as there are a lot of them around. Uh, this one I thought was particularly great with the horns, uh, the hand painting, and these extraordinary uh, kind of raised eyes. Um, this one I've uh, actually looked on a mask site. You can try and work out the original uh, country of uh, origin. And this one is from, let me get this right, I think Zambia. I think I'm right in saying that. Uh, we picked this up in a local charity shop a while back, actually. I've been displaying it at home for £5. Um, it's a good one, I reckon £25. £30 on that in the shop. Really like that piece. Heading over this way, small uh, collectibles always sell well. This is, well, you can see what it is. It's a Zippo lighter. Um, and uh, always check they work, of course. This particular one, um, and it has uh, dots at the bottom here to prove it, is a fairly early model. It's an early 1960s Zippo. Picked up in an auction lot with some other bits. So thankfully, it doesn't really owe us anything but an early 60s Zippo, a vintage Zippo. Again, I'd hope 2025, very similar to that, a vintage Parker pen. Parker is a, a well-known UK maker pen. It's a, a ballpoint a pen, spring-loaded, picked up with an auction lot, nice chrome body, brushed chrome, looks great, pen's always collectible, uh, 10 to 15 on that perhaps. They're sat on a very modern collectible. Let's move these up so you can see. So these are no more than 10 years old. Uh, why did I buy these? It's not even vintage, you might think, but they are great name, um, practical. They're coasters, coasters sell, you know, fun coasters, fun impulse buys. It's the Beatles, of course, and as you can probably see, 2009, I think these are, they are still shrink-wrapped. And sort of merchandise of this kind, if you get it shrink-wrapped, um, it has that added value because of its unopened condition so we like those next to that these i picked up a couple of days ago these are kind of 1930s i think uh kind of deco this is a, this is a substance similar to bakelite it's not actually bakelite but it's a kind of early plastic that was used a lot at that time they're napkin rings uh, in the shape of rabbits why did i buy those there's a pair they're stylish the eye just lifts them for me the little colored eye it's the same on both sides there and um, they were cheap. They were two pounds for the pair, a pound each. A uh, pair of 1930s Bakelite-esque napkin rings, 10, 15 on a good day. Like those a lot. Uh, moving backwards, this is a cocktail shaker. Again, loads of cocktail shakers can be bought. The modern ones really aren't going to sell in a, an antiques environment. This one, though, is a 60s glass, well-made cocktail shaker. It's got the Maker's name just there, Grenadier England. Um, there's some great cocktails on here. There's a, a Rob Roy, a Red Lion. I mean, some of these are great. What else we got around here? Um, yeah, Martini Dry and nice uh, double or, or single measures on the on the outside there. Good chrome lid. Everything fits. Check it's all secure. Um, and no cracks to the glass, obviously. That again was just two pounds. Uh, cocktail shakers, drinks related uh, items, always sell well for a party, bit of fun. You get it out at your party and show, have some fun with your friends. You know, again, I'd like to think 20, probably stick 22 on that, hope to get 20. It's the kind of price I'd put on that. Last but not least, I featured it before, but I do love it. Studio pottery as statement pieces. It's colourful, it's funky, if you get the right kind of colours. Both of these particular pieces are pool. Uh, not particularly old, actually, these two. This one dates the 90s. This colourway here was uh, not particularly 
uh, popular at the time, which makes this pattern a little rarer. But it's big, it's bold, orange and black. You know, on a modern environment, somebody who doesn't perhaps have an antiques uh, styled house, that on a table on its own is going to look great as a statement piece. So there we have it, a range of pieces that are vintage, fun, funky, relatively cheap to buy, and the markup can be uh, you know, reasonably substantial. So, hope you uh, enjoyed that little take through some of our recent vintage purchases. Do please subscribe below, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.